Welcome back. We're going to play some more 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. So, lately we've been playing Static Rook Strategy. Uh, I think we'll continue attempting to play Static Rook Strategy. Good luck. And attempt to apply some of the lessons that we learned more recently. Um, so, one lesson in particular had to do with move order. And in that lesson, it was impressed upon me that pushing this pawn should probably happen before you push the rook pawn. For exactly this sort of reason. Um, so, yeah, I've missed out on an opportunity already. Uh, I did mention... Okay, so yeah, now bringing the silver up is not viable at this point. I could exchange bishops. Um... That doesn't get me too far here. So another way I can play this is move my king toward the bishop so I don't hang something either. Don't hang a bishop, don't hang a silver. Yep, so they have the time to play the silver advance. I have the time to move up my silver. And so they're not playing a static rook opening. So building the fortress castle is not what I should be aiming to do here. What castle should I build? I actually don't know. Um, but yeah, my rook is cut off by this silver, which is a bit annoying. Um, if I try anything too hasty, there's forks everywhere to be concerned about. I think it's not unreasonable for the king to run a little bit here. And if our opponent's considering building in the corner here, maybe I should prompt them and ask, uh, are they going to build uh, this Anaguma bear in the hole castle, tucking the king into the corner? They don't look like they're going to do that. Um, so, with the rook on the fourth file, well, I don't really know what I should be doing, because I'm afraid if I move this gold, there's going to be a bishop drop eventually, and I'll regret having moved it. Um, but again, if I don't move... Okay, so they're going to try to puncture this file. Um, if I try to open the ro this diagonal here, we're both going to try to make use of it. But if I don't open this diagonal, this knight's never getting out. But if I do open it, my rook is exposed. I guess since I'm in doubt about um, a lot of things, what castle do I want to build? There are many possible castles in this game. Okay, I think this is sensible. Yeah, they're going to build a nice castle. And I'm still not totally sure what I'm building. Okay, I've moved my gold here to get out of the way of the rook. This, you know, they've built Mino, which resists attacks from the side. Um, I guess I could take a vanguard pawn. My position looks a bit shaky. Huh. 
Oh boy. Um. I don't know if this is more weakening or strengthening to push that. We're gonna get our king a little bit safer here. Oh. Is this viable? I didn't think that was gonna happen. Um. Now that the pawns are in tension, I need to respond to that. This is strange. So my castle is ill-formed. Otherwise, I could consider doing adventurous stuff here. Um, like a bishop drop. Well, the bishop drop doesn't do anything. It's not useful. Bishop drop here could be useful. It's not so easy. Um, Go I'm just going to pack my generals together like this, which is weird, but I don't know what else to do. Um... Oh, gosh darn it. I'm one move slow on the uptake for all of this stuff. So, you know, dropping a pawn here is not going to resist at all. I'd have to do something more clever. Um, hmm. Well, this doesn't work either. They push the silver, I drop a pawn, they push this pawn, and then my pawn hangs. So... Yeah, I just... Well, we're learning something today. Bishop's on a good diagonal. That's one thing I've got going for me here. Possibly the only thing I have going for me. Yeah, it's difficult to resist this silver. Um, I don't think this pawn drop was necessary. So I want to build an attack against this. I didn't think they would do that. There are advantages to this move, but um, it's kind of heavy. I mean, only kind of heavy. So, yeah, they invest a bishop for gold. That should pay off sometime soon. because they've broken my shape. Something.
2分30秒I can't figure out how to use a bishop effectively against the rook, other than this idea. So I got the rook back. Um, what does a rook do? What is a rook except a miserable pile of secrets? No. <laughs> Let's not get too mystical here. Um, Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. So this bishop pins the pawn. Uh, this precludes most tactics that could happen there. They might have a bishop drop that I've overlooked. Which would be sad. Like this bishop drop four might potentially be of some interest to them. Um, otherwise, I'm defending my silver by way of this recovering this. So. Ah! Although the silver is defended, it is still in harm's way. That ain't good. Alright, screw it. We gotta attack somehow. We just Our bishop just lost its activity in one move there. Um, silver's hanging. That was wrong. I should have brought the gold to the side. I picked the least effective way to use my gold here. Um, yeah, this is gonna suck. Let's activate the bishop again. The threat is too obvious, but can they stop it? They just have to move the king. Like, I can't find a way to quickly use my pieces. Oh. Alright. Well, I'm going to chance it, because I'm dead if I don't do this. I have at least some chance of being alive if I do this, so we're going to do it. Sanjibyo.
In case it's not obvious, I'm just a little bit anxious about this position. Um... Jubio. Mm. That doesn't work. I was desperate. But yeah, no, this is just straight up fails. Alright, thanks for the game. We lose. Well played. Let's play another. Good luck. Again, I forgot to open the bishop first. One day that's going to bite me. Um, yeah, I can actually push this first. Um, What's that for? That's some kind of pronouncement that I've messed up. Um, no, let's start trying to s dissuade my silver from going any further. Um, but yeah, I'm building the wrong castle, because they haven't done a static rook attack here. So, this is the wrong castle to build for the based on what their attack is. Um. Wow. Uh, okay, yeah, they apply this advice of denying my bishop all these squares. It's good advice. Um... If bishops do exchange, I'll want to move my gold over this way instead. Um. Alright, we built the wrong castle, because, I don't know, habits die hard. Um. So what the hell do I do now? Okay, I'm gonna try to break with this attack at very much the wrong timing, but... 
Uh, that's interesting. That is very perplexing. Is my position so terrible that even this is a good move? This doesn't seem right. Nanafun. Oh, the silvers go backwards in this game. Um, I was so obsessed with hitting this bishop that I didn't read this as deeply as I should have. Whether or not this works, I didn't read it. I should have read it. That's so irresponsible on my part. Um, uh, so yeah, we've got problems. We've got trouble in River City. A T with the capital... Trouble with the capital T and that rhymes with P and that stands for pool. But... Um, Maybe it's not all a loss. If the bishop moves up, I can attack it again. Bishop retreats. Um, forward my silver goes, defending this, but also trying to invade in front of their rook. Um... If I move my rook over, they drop a pawn. Yeah, I've done nothing. Hmm. Wait, pawn drop, rook takes, silver attacks, rook moves. Pawn drop again, rook takes, gold takes. It's playable, isn't it? Um, but if I drop a pawn, they might take both my golds as I take their pieces. That could be a mess. But maybe it's a, wor a mess worth having? Doubtful. If I retreat, they continue moving forward. Actually, they can't. Go for um, Hmm... How to read this? I don't know. I need to know. I'm going to play this just to find out how it works. Or doesn't work. More likely the latter. But, um... I just am sitting here the whole time, trying and trying and trying and trying and trying to read it. Getting absolutely nowhere and needing to do something different than just sitting there. So, here we go. Let's see how this works. I think Rook takes Pawn is what I missed here. Um, my Rook can't oppose their Rook here. Um, This is the furthest up I can drop a pawn to stop this damn rook. But it's not good. On the other hand, my gold is going on a bit of an adventure. Um, well, my position sucks, so let's keep with it. Alright, that's a rook exchange. Um... If I save the knight, my bishop's still inactive. My pieces are all floating. Um, 
This is not my greatest position ever. But if I give them a knight, this is going to suck a lot more, isn't it? If I move the knight, it's going to take an eternity to get an attack moving. Hmm. Oh, welcome. Okay, let's try to use the knight. It seems like a waste of time, but... Maybe this is not a complete waste of time? I'm not sure. Um... That's a mess. Alright, we'll distract their rook and pretend that a silver is worth a tempo or something like that. Um. Oh. Yeah, about that rook distraction plan, it only works if I've actually successfully distracted. Um... All right. Yeah, a plan that doesn't even get to step one. It's not the greatest plan. All right, maybe I could use this for defense somehow, but very unlikely. They're playing a really nice attack. Uh, kudos to them. Maybe this lance will change our fortune somehow. One <laughs> Pray for a miracle? Oh god. That ain't a miracle. Well, it doesn't look like one. Maybe it is one in disguise. This bishop was doing jack, and now the bishop is in a better place. There we go. Hopefully I'll get to attack sometime this game. Um, not that I deserve to, but it'd be nice. Um. We're asking for trouble. We're going to get it. It'll be fine. Maybe. Hmm. <laughs> How rude of my opponent to interrupt my attack. How can they interrupt it like that? I mean, it's clearly the right thing for them to do to interrupt it, but... Um,
20秒That was dumb. Yeah, I'm not surviving this. Maybe I'm surviving this. Gosh darn it. They keep playing moves that I don't expect. It's making it difficult for me to attack. Thanks for the game. Well, two down. I built the wrong castle twice. Maybe game three, I can learn to improve on the mistakes of my first two games. We'll see. Good luck. So since they've opened the diagonal, and since I'm mortified about the prospect of playing bishop exchange opening, we're going to open the rook this way against the bishop, even though that's not Joseki. Um, but we do need to block this diagonal against tactics. Uh, well, that's something. That's Joseki right there. That's they're trying to use this bishop on this diagonal um, to hit my rook. Um, if I move the knight, they drop a pawn, and I have to move the knight again. I might want to move it again. No, I don't. This bishop, my position's so fragile. I don't want to make any unnecessary moves here. So, a silver move I think is necessary. Um, this promotion seems appropriate. It doesn't, I mean, it does directly attack this pawn, but it doesn't bear any further direct threat um, that I'm aware of. That said, they shouldn't let me just take the pawn. Um, I mean, we're in some weird territory at the moment. Super duper weird territory. I'm going to defend as many pawns as I can. Um, but also make room for a pawn drop. Also hit this gold general. Also threaten this pawn, but I don't really intend to take that to its logical extreme. Um, this is a weird game. Um, I can drop a gold and threaten to take this, and that looks almost like me. Um, let's do it. I guess they can defend this with their gold general, can't they? I missed that. Should be careful when declaring mate that it's actually mate. Because um, as fun as it is for content purposes to 
make a move and call it checkmate. For purposes of trying to actually win the game, you need to play the correct moves. So here, this is not correct if that defends, and I think it does. Um, I could take gold takes silver drop, and it gets complicated, but I'm not better there. And I've just put my gold general in a bit of a tight spot. If I take, if gold takes silver drop, they could move the gold back. My silver retreats. Um, well, they have another general in hand at that point anyway. So yeah, this is not mate. This actually increases the distance to mate. Well, if I could distract the rook, this would be something different. Can I distract the rook somehow? Don't think so. If I drop a pawn up here, the bishop moves. If I drop a pawn up there, the knight moves. Then, yeah, I can do some interesting stuff out here, can't I? Uh, but yes, hello, Gusto. Hope all's going well for you today. Uh, I missed this. I thought the bishop... Would... Well, I forgot the bishop's defending this point anyway. It kind of moots my next point about trying to do some other tactic here. This is the wrong square to drop the pawn on. Tactics just don't work. Um... If I push, bishop takes, I drop another pawn back here. I think that's the right thing to do. Alright, so we're going to admit that we made a mistake. Bishop takes. And we're going to drop back here instead. Um, this sets up a pawn promotion threat. My target is this rook that's well placed. Um... Oh, that's interesting. Um, that sets up some tactics here. So you might think my threat is to take this bishop, and you might be right. I think my actual threat is to take this gold here, now that the rook is not defending it anymore. Um... But threat number two, I guess, to just take the rook outright, right? Um, some tactics happened this game. If I drop another rook here, they drop a knight here. I take this. King takes. I don't have a mate. This damn knight drop that they have is annoying. It means I don't get to play a flashy checkmate sequence. Wait, a rook drop there is worse than simply moving my dragon here. If I move the dragon, I'm hitting this gold. That brings me one square closer to where I want to be. I drop a knight, I take anyway. Yeah, let's chase the king. Thanks for the game. Alright. So it seems that we're both having an off day today. But uh, at the end, I spotted some tactics, and that made the difference in this game. Uh, I do wish them the best of luck, as we wish everybody the best of luck in this game. Uh, hopefully we can learn with each game to play a little bit better. 
I clearly, if I'm too anxious about playing even the first move of a game, that indicates maybe I need to study a bit more. Uh, but yeah, hope we enjoyed these games, and thanks for watching.